Hello, it's Tom from Back to Studio, and uh, this is going to be a general hobby progress update um, because I wasn't really working on anything specific the last few weeks. <clears throat> As you may have noticed, it's been a little bit dry on the um, kind of hobby front from the point of view of actually sort of painting, making, etc. Uh, unfortunately, it's mainly to me, um, it was work, sadly. Uh, I've just been very busy and I've been involved in a lot of stuff happening out of my normal working hours, so I haven't really had a chance to really knuckle down and get a few things done. Um, so, as you can see from me, I've got a selection of things in front of me. Um, we've got some Black Templar bits, got some terrain. And over here, we have my Warhound. Now, I finally got this to the point where I am actually happy to have it on kind of Plague Games film. Um, I've been rushing to get this done for something that might be coming up soon, so keep an eye out for that. Um, in fact, everything you see here is all going to be for that particular thing happening later uh this month um i'm not gonna let on too much what it's about but i'm hoping you guys might start to twig uh after a few of the videos i do but anyway so here's my warhound scout titan i've actually had this for about four or five years now um and i've had it in varying states of um kind of painted unpainted repainted in fact i think this is the fourth repaint i did on it basically the first few schemes i did i just really just i couldn't Every time I looked at it, it just didn't click with me to saying it was right. Then I went, then basically what actually triggered me to do this particular scheme was after I did my red scorpions with the grey, I thought, actually, that looks really nice on, you know, big flat surfaces. So I, that's basically what I went for here. Uh, as you can see here, there's lots of grey with a very similar patterning to my uh, scorpions uh, cast assault ram. Um, and I think actually it did come out rather nice. Um, and... With anything, this was one of my first big four drill models I bought. And I was quite, you know, it's a few years ago. Um, I hadn't really put anything for four drill together before. And I think if I was to do it again, I would do everything completely differently. Uh, I'd take a lot more time over it for starters, because you can see the poses, in my opinion, is not brilliant. Um, but I'm very loath to break it all apart and try and get it sort of sorted out. Um, I think I'm happy with how it looks sort of from the point of view of using it in a game and things like that. Uh, however, if I was to get something of a similar size or similar type, I'd take a lot more time over posing it and getting it sorted out because I don't really like the mono pose of the legs sort of standing there. Um, and I'm going to be building up the, the terrain base a bit. I think I've done a reasonably good job on it. It's basically a, a massively coated MDF board with some stones, grass, and some of the Citadel mud effect stuff. Uh, just plasters on there. Um, yeah, so that is my Warhound Scout Titan, which has the Plasma Blast Gun and the Turbo Destroyers. Um, other than that, it's everything as is normal. A close look there. Anyway, that's that one. And over here on the left, we have three new crates I've just finished. Pretty basic paint scheme on them. Um, I mean, they're just crates. I don't. I, don't, I, mean, I think they, they've got the right effect, a nice bit of chip metal on it. Uh, darkened down, look like they've been sort of banged around and used and... Um, picked three different colours apart from the red one, I think the red one's the same, sorry, but um, yeah, I did a kind of a tan and a, a grey just to sort of change them from the other ones. I've got three other ones, kind of got a green, red and blue. So we just kind of, we're trying to expand kind of the basic terrain we have and scatter terrain just to give us a bit more variation on videos. So we just, I decided to buy another kit of these and get them done. And obviously over here, there's a great big pile in the middle here of the crates and also the objective markers, which I was just starting on. Um, just before I had a little hiatus from doing bits and pieces. Um, so they're going to be, this lot's kind of, I'm working on all these just to give us a bit more, a bit more kind of close up stuff on the battlefield. Um, got some of the older games workshop stuff here. Little kind of the, I think they're just like steel pallets. Yeah, that's the one. Um, so yeah, they're going to get done. Obviously the objective markers here as well. And moving over here, this is, um, the macro cannon installation. Um, I've already got one of these, and it's and that one's been painted to a certain style. This one, um, I've decided I'm going to take a bit more time over and fill in a lot more colour. So as you can see here, I started on the top here, so I've got kind of the gold and silver on there with a wash, and I'm going to start picking out a lot more detail. And I'm going to probably bring a bit more gold into these areas here, all the way around. Just make it just make it look a bit more, you know, a bit more attention's been taken over it than I normally do. And then I'll put I'll probably do is then bring the other one that I'd had done. And do the same to that. So I have two matching ones, which would be quite nice for some other types of big games um, that we might end up doing. And finally, over here, 
um, the caster sorry, this was actually the last thing I was working on. You may have seen a few updates on this, um, and I got quite far along with it. it. To be honest, it is almost done. I haven't got an awful lot more to do to it. I need to get some metal on the engines here and bring bring out some of the more highlighting on all the black on the edges here and, and, and on the red, obviously, and just, just, just finish it off, really. Um, the, the, the main colours are there, and you know, a lot of the detail is where I want it to be um, for my kind of... Uh, the way I do my Templars, anyway. Um, and I've put a bit more kind of... Held on his over some of the some of the hanging parts on here, and uh, put a few more bits from the Templar um, etch brass set from Forge World on it, just to give it a bit more of a Templar feel. I think actually it's done quite a nice effect on it in the end, so I'm I'm very happy with how it's starting to turn out. And with a bit more, I think probably a couple more hours work on that, and I think we'll have something that uh, will be where I want it to be. And then just down here at the front. This is basically, I finished all of my Primaris Marines, you'll probably work. I did do a video on them in the Apocalypse game we had recently. Um, and these are the last ones. It's basically the, the Lieutenants, um, the Ancient, and the obviously the, the Caps in um, in Gravas armor, which I want to get done. Also, uh, the last Assassin I had. These are, uh, this is, so this is, why, this is why it's a general product update, because I haven't really been concentrating on any one particular thing at the moment. And with certain things that are coming up, I've just decided to knock on the head a few things I've had lying around and get get them done. So that's everything for now. Um, keep an eye out because I'll try and obviously update you guys on when I've got this done and these done. This is probably my next two things I'm going to start uh, sorting out. Um, and keep an eye out for some uh, pretty big videos coming up in the future. So this is Tom from Black Toad Studio and I'll speak soon.